This is the shadow tutorial in Sign Lab. Today's lesson I'm going to show you how to apply shadow effects to the text I have on screen. So we'll start off with our block style shadow today. So with block selected we'll go to the transform menu, and select shadow, and we'll set our style to block. I'm going to change our color to a dark blue. I'm going to turn off my outline and just kind of manually adjust the effect of the shadow. That looks pretty good as it is. So I'll move on to my relief style shadow now. So I'll select that, and you'll notice that the shadow style that I created in the block over here has now been applied to relief. So I'm just going to adjust it somewhat. I'm going to apply an outline, and I'm going to apply a relief shadow. And uh, that looks pretty good as it is. So I'm going to move on to perspective now. And I will set my style to perspective. I'm going to change my color to red. And I'm going to turn off my outline. And just kind of manually adjust this a little bit. That looks good enough as it is. So now I'll move on to my drop shadow effect. So with drop selected, I'll select the drop style. I'm going to change my color to a dark gray. And just kind of position this right under the text so it doesn't look like it's too far away. And that looks pretty good as it is. And last but not least, I'll move on to my cast shadow. So with that selected, I'm going to go up and set my style to cast. I'm going to change my color to an even lighter gray. And I'll just kind of manually position this. So it's as if the sun is behind our letters casting a shadow forward. And that looks pretty good. So just to finish things off, I'll kind of just select the different types of shadow and zoom in and let you see the effect that I created. So that's block. This is relief. Perspective. Let's drop. And last but not least, cast. So I'll deselect everything and zoom back out. And that's Shadows in Sign Lab, and that's the end of this tutorial.